Hello, on this Friday, as we're tracking some showers trying to make their way east, it's gonna be pretty light for us. You can see these really fizzling out because we've got a lot of dry air around here uh, at the surface and through much of the lower atmosphere where it has been raining. Relative humidities are higher, of course, in the greens, but here in the eastern part of the state, those browns are 20 to 30% relative humidity only, so very dry air. And as we go up 1,800 feet, same story, uh, pretty dry air still to get through. So those showers are making their way through, but it does uh, eat up a lot of the rain, literally, as it moves east. So you can see that on the loop here over the morning hours into the midday, those showers really kind of fizzling out. We will see some light showers on and off here through the afternoon, uh, but not much. Uh, we'll be counting maybe a couple hundredths of an inch of rainfall is gonna be about it. And that's gonna be the case with anything we see over the next couple of days. Late tomorrow, we could see a shower too. So here are the showers this afternoon. And then this evening, we're gonna see some thunderstorms try to pop up in western Minnesota. Those probably don't make it here though. They largely fizzle out as they move east, but western part of the state could see that. And several of you saw this. This was sent to me uh, on Wednesday a dust nato or a dust devil basically not a tornado similarities i mean it looks obviously like it but it's basically a rotating updraft into a very small shallow uh, cumulus cloud and we had several of those around this is looking at wednesday afternoon you can see that field of cumulus clouds but the thing we had going for us wednesday is some pretty intense heating the sun is strong but cool air aloft and we had this very deep mixed layer. We basically warmed through the bottom two miles of the atmosphere. That's what that smooth line is on the weather balloon data. And when you have that long mixing depth, that can allow for these updrafts to really get going and rotate. So you're basically seeing one of the updrafts feeding one of those cumulus clouds with sort of pockets of unevenly heated air. And then if it goes over a baseball field, you can actually see it rotate. Generally though, not very strong. Uh, another piece of news here, La Nina is forecast to be dying. Yeah, we've been in a La Nina pattern for a little while here, which is colder than normal waters off the coast of South America uh, in the Eastern Pacific. El Nino is the opposite, warmer than normal waters. This was December, but take a look at uh, the, in recent days now, still some pockets of cooler than normal water, but much less so. So forecasting to head into neutral conditions, we call it, which means neither La Nina or El Nino. So again, this is looking at December 21st, the winter solstice, big pocket of blue, and now again here in the middle of May, much less so. So we'll see what happens if we're heading back into El Nino or maybe another La Nina phase, but for the time being, neutral territory. Now, late tomorrow, a couple of showers are possible again, and then also on Sunday, but chances of rain the next couple of days after today are even less so and we'll have fewer of them. We need the rain, as I mentioned, we are behind for the month of May because of our cool pattern. Drought conditions starting to expand a little to our south and of course the whole southwest. In fact, you've maybe heard all of California is in a drought condition of some form, uh, but severe for many parts of the state and not good as we're heading into their fire season. They do not get rain really over the next few months. We've been in this bizarre pattern of very extreme uh, buckling uh, of the jet stream or that upper level flow blocking pattern over Greenland where it's been warmer than normal. We've been cooler than normal and then warmer than normal to our west. That's allowed uh, those two pockets to our west and east to drain cold air in our direction, but that's changing now, uh, look at the temperature anomalies forecast over the next couple of weeks. weeks. The warmth spreads east. It's going to be cooler than average in the west. In fact, this is the Climate Prediction Center 6 to 10 day outlook. Higher probabilities of above normal temperatures for us. And then as we look even further ahead in the 8 to 14 day outlook, much the same. And then even further than that, their 3 to 4 week outlook, which takes us into the first couple of days of June, is more the same. In fact, uh, with probabilities are high of above normal temperatures for all of the country, pretty much, and Alaska. So definitely some warmth headed our way here for the second act of May, which could counteract the cool weather we've had the last couple of weeks. In fact, I told you uh, most of the models have been flirting with possibly a near 90 European model by next Friday has us at 89 and the uh, American and Canadian models have been doing something similar in that similar period. So just seems like how it happens around here. We flip the switch from spring to summer. Uh, 68 today, clouds, and again, a few of those light showers this afternoon. Uh, an isolated shower or two late tomorrow, and very slight isolated chance of a shower Sunday. Uh, nothing to cancel any outdoor plans, certainly. In fact, uh, we're just warming it up here, and that means by later next week, better chance of some thunderstorms, which will bring us 
some of that more needed significant rainfall.